Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about link text and partial link text locators in Selenium. So link text and partial link text. I'm going to take the same example of Stack Overflow website. So it's up to you. You can choose any of your favorite website and start automating it. But the main focus has to be in learning how to use the different locators. All right. So we can see here there are different links and how how did we uh, we are here on this page is just to recap we logged into into this uh, Stack Overflow website and then we searched for some string in this search box then we clicked on these three horizontal lines on the top right and then finally we clicked on this logout link and we can see here the final confirmation of the logout and instead of clicking on this logout button what we are going to do now is we'll click any of these links here so for example let me click on the stackage.com so it navigates me to this particular website right so this is what we'll automate now so right click on the stackexchange.com inspect you can see so when we inspect something got highlighted here and you can see as this is the link you can see the tag anchor tag here which is uh, represented with a right and below it you can see the link here in between the due tags stackexchange.com so this is the text of this link and we are going to use this text of this link in the link text locator so let's start writing the link text uh, locator so find element by dot Link text is the method, and we are going to just put. Okay, so we didn't copy that. So let me copy this whole text of the link and copy it here in the double quotes. That's all. So link text is a method which actually identifies the links using the text of the link. So this is the text of the link. And as this is the link, we need to perform the action of click on it. So just so just use the method click on it it just identifies the text of uh, link text using the text of this link and then clicks on that link right so and if, if you see here we search for some string right in the previous video so if you observe uh, we actually searched for the string on the search box so i just commented out that so if you want like uh, how did we actually do this of automating uh, you know, login page and uh, searching for a uh, particular string here. You can actually watch the previous videos. All right. So now it has to log in and then click on the logout page. And on the logout confirmation, we are not going to click on the logout logout button. Instead, we'll be clicking on this stackexchange.com link. Let's execute the program now. Now it has to log in with the credentials we provided and then it will not search for any string here. We just commented out that code. It just needs to log out. So it all depends on uh, how much time your you know, web page takes to load. So it clicked on logout and on the final confirmation, it clicked on the stackexchange.com link. And we are here into the stackexchange.com website. All right, so let's go back. So this is all about link text. You just need to find out the text of the link associated with that link. And just use the link text method. So this is about link text. Now let's actually use partial link text. So what's about partial link text? So once we click on this, we are into this web page and you can see there are many links again, tour about us, meta, you can see there are an, uh, many links here, right? So what we'll do here is we are going to click on this all sites. And what is about partial link text is, as the name suggests, it's only part of the link text. So it's a link text, but it's only a part of it, meaning whatever the text of the link is, so we will be using only substring of that text 
For example, you can see all sites here, top users. Let's select this all sites. So we have two words here, all sites, right? So you can just take a substring of it. So let's take only sites here and uh, we'll only use that sites as the partial link text to identify that link all sites. So even you can see, inspect this uh, link as well. See, you can see anchor tag as it's a link and you can see all sites as the value for it. Instead of, uh, you know, using the complete text, we'll be using only a part of it or a substring of it. So driver dot find element by dot partial link text is a method where instead of giving the complete text, I'll be giving only sites here. And as it's a link, we are going to use the click method on it, right? So the only difference here between link text and partial link text, you can see in the link text, we specify the complete text of the link, but in the partial link text, we only specify part of it. And remember, again, it has to identify uh, this web element or this link uniquely. So let's see this now. Let me execute the program. So you can see here, should log in with the credentials we provided. Then log out. Seems like it's slow. So you can see here, should log out now. Click on the log out. So it all depends on uh, your network connection as well. Seems like my network connection is slow today. So it's taking a long time to load this page. So you can see it clicked on that and it should click on this logout link as well. And on the final confirmation of the logout pop-up, so it has to click on the stackexchange.com. Yes, it clicked on it. We are into the website stackexchange.com now. Yes, and it has to identify the link all sites using the partial text sites. And it has to click, click on that all sites. So if it is taking long time, you can actually verify if there is any, any error. So if at all a web driver is not able to identify any element, right? We get uh, an exception saying that uh, no such element found uh, exception, and then the program exits, but we, we don't see any exception here. So in that case, we just need to wait. So you can see it clicked on all sites. You can see here, URL got changed and you can see the title of the page as well. It actually clicked on the all sites link. So we can actually see, we get uh, all the sites, right? Of this stackexchange.com website. We can actually verify this manually as well. So we didn't do this earlier. Just click on this all sites and you can see, we'll be taken into this same page, all sites page, right? So this is how we can use partial link text to actually click on this links. So uh, again, just to repeat, there is only a small difference between link text and partial link text. In the when we use link text method, we have to specify the complete text of the link. Whereas when we use partial link text, we can specify the part of it or a substring of the text. So this is the only difference. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.